here with uh, senior Mackay Morris. First of all, congrats on a tough win. Um, just talk a little bit about the mindset going into this game. You knew you would have uh, very similar styles and it was going to be a battle. So what was your all's preparation going into this? I mean, our preparation was just being us. Um, all week, we talked about how it was going to be a dog fight. And every day, we just go on the court. The hardest playing team always going to win. So we just go on the court and just play hard every time. Um, just talk a little bit about uh, your all's defense. I feel like I ask this question every single time, but it never fails to disappoint. You forced 25 turnovers. Their previous season high for turnovers was 15. So just talk a little bit about that movement on the court and what you guys do. I mean, I think it started with the summertime where everybody getting connected and just believing in each other. Um, the rotations is getting better every game. Um, I wouldn't even say that's our best defense. We get better every every game. So. I think it's just flying around, having each other back, believing that if we do something, our teammate going to be right there to step up, to do whatever he got to do. So I think it's just a connection thing. Mm -hmm. What's it like to have you guys have knocked off Drexel, now these guys here at home? What's it like to get two really good back-to-back -back wins? The wins, they feel good. Um, we know Drexel and Kyle State Bakersfield, they're both very good teams. Um, just going in, having the right mindset. You don't win the games at the game. You win the games during practice out the week. So just having the right practices and having that energy and mindset throughout the week, that's what helped us for today. And was it, you know, like the coach talked a little earlier about, was it good to win one where you had to fight for this one for the very end? I mean, yeah, it feel good. Not just getting off easy games. That's not the fun of it. Having to go out and battle and see what you really can do, I think that's the best part about it. And I think the gratifying thing is, I mean, that's a very big athletic team. And, and you guys played a lot, especially, you know, I was impressed with, with what you mentioned, what you guys managed to do down low against a team like that. I think it's all just goes to having each other back. Um, the pressure from the beginning is how you start the possession, is how the possession go in. So the pressure at the beginning from the start, I think that's what really frustrates teams. So as a player, it's you know finals break for y'all. You got a long break ahead of you with basketball ahead. What's it like to be playing games like this in December with nothing on your mind? I mean, it feel good. I think it feel good. Uh, throughout final weeks, I mean, throughout final week, everybody, everybody have a little weight on their shoulders because they worrying about basketball, then we got to level basketball out with school. So just having that weight on your shoulders, but to let the weight go, I think it feel good. The, all, you got, all we got to do is worry about is basketball, straight basketball, and getting better every day. So I think that's good. So down the stretch, it was a little tense at times. So what's going through your mind when you hit that shot that you were talking to Coach Tanner about before? I think it's just a routine. Um, when the ball comes to me, I just got to make a play. I knew I didn't have to force a shot. I knew it would come to me eventually. So just that shot, I didn't even think about the shot being a big shot. I just was playing. So just hitting that shot, it was just a regular shot. What's it like to play for Coach Tanner? <laughs> he tough on us. He tough on us. Everybody don't know he tough on us. He tough on us. But I think he loves us and he wants us to get better. So I think it's like, it's not just playing for like a coach. It's like, I feel like when we go to practice every day, it's like a family. Like, it's not even like, a team is just like a family. Like we all well connected. Coach Tanner care about us. The coaching staff care about us. Everything everybody do for us. So it, I think that it just feel good. <laughs> Head coach Brett Tanner, uh, like you said, like you've been saying leading up to this, it was a dog fight. Uh, to me, is like the same team out there playing yeah. each other. Just the battling and the defense. Uh, how important was it to get this win? Man, this was huge. I was really nervous about this. I knew this was the first team. I talk all the time that you know. We, we, we try to be a bully. You know, we, we, try, to, we try to throw that knockout punch early. And, and, and we, usually we can do that. Uh, and we talked a lot this week that we were going to try to throw that punch. And even if we connected, they were going to jump right back up and they were going to swing at us and, and, and try to knock us down. And so to see how our guys responded, man, to, it's the first time we've seen that. Even all through all of our games, even, even our Power 5 games, nobody has, has, has defended us like that. That is a... That is a top-notch defensive team, one of the best defensive teams in the country, uh, and we talked about that, man. And uh, they, take, they do a great job taking care of the ball. So do we, and both of us turned it over way too much tonight. But, but to turn them over 25 times, man, we talked about that. I told our guys, man, we, we're going to force 25 turnovers tonight. 
And, and we talked about it before the game. We talked about it at halftime. We talked about it, you know, at the end of the game. We talked about it in the locker room. And that's what won the game for us is, is those 25 turnovers. And I know it ended up being a 10-point game, but that was a two-possession game. And so to, to force those turnovers, to go get points off turnovers, that, that's who we are. And to win that battle, that was going to be the winner of the game. And, and so I'm extremely, extremely proud of them. Um, and you talked about that just back and forth. Um, this was actually the longest you've trailed uh, at home this season. Uh, just talk about the fight you guys had just – even when you got down a few points earlier. That's Grant Boone's fault, by the way. Grant Boone, I, I told him, man, he kept talking about that, man. I said, man, you're going you're gonna to curse us, man. But, uh, but yeah, I, I just, it was good for us, man. We needed that, especially here at home. I, I think that we needed an opportunity to have to kind of, you know, scratch and claw and, and fight from behind for a little bit. And, um, and then they, we never were able to stretch. I mean, I felt like we had like a 15-point lead. I look up, we're up by six. And they just would not go away. And so uh, that's a credit to them, man. That's a credit to their players. That's a credit to their coaching staff. Uh, I got so much respect for them. Uh, he's been around a long time. He's a, he's a high major coach, man. Uh, and I've, I've learned a lot just by watching them. We, we both talked before the game. I've learned a ton just watching film on them. Uh, and, and so I'm just thankful again. I, I said this earlier. I'm just thankful for them to come here. You know, we haven't been able to get these kind of games in Abilene. And so for, for Coach to bring his team here and play us first, got to return the game next year. But for him to be willing to come here first, man, that's, that's, a, that's a big thing, man. And I'm just so thankful to them. But, um, you know, that's all credit to them, man. That, that is an, uh, that's an unbelievable defensive team. No, I mean, I think it comes down to toughness, man. I mean, we have some bigs that are still learning their way. You know, it's, it's no secret. And uh, for them to battle and battle and battle. And, um, you know, we've been toying with that small lineup that we had, you know. Um, and we felt, we felt like we had to do it there at the end just because it was all returners. It was the first time that we kind of had that, you know, that, that moment. But I was so proud of, like, YG went in there and gave us great minutes. for aha, man. I told him, I said, I'm going to put you in the game, and you got to rebound the ball. Uh, and the very first play he made was, a, was an offensive rebound, you know. And uh, so I was just proud of him, and I'm proud of Cam's fighting. I mean, we've got to remember, you know, he hates it when I say this, but Cam's still a baby. You know, he's he, – whatever – how many games we played, man, I, I don't even know. But he's eight or nine games in. He was a freshman that didn't play a whole lot last year. And, and he's, he's down there. We threw him at the five. He's not even a five man, you know. And so uh, I'm just – those guys are fighting, scratching, clawing, and it's not just them. I mean, we switch a lot. So Damien's down there, and, and Damien's trying to front a post. I mean, he's trying to front a 6'9 guy and draws an offensive foul. Huge play in the game. Um, you know, Corian's down there guarding the post, taking a, taking a beating, you know. Guy misses a shot, and then Makai comes in and grabs a rebound. I mean, just all these guys, and Makai said it, these guys are connected, man, super connected. Uh, I wish I could take credit for, for everything that's going on right now, but it is them. I mean, like I've said this before in here, man, coaches are overrated, man. Those players, uh, the leadership that we have, I mean, they're the ones grabbing guys and telling them, man, we got this. They're the ones telling us we're going to win this game. They're the ones talking about take care of the ball. I mean, that is a veteran, veteran group, man. And we've got some young guys that are, that are willing to be coached by their teammates. And that, that's what makes this a special group. Man, so so good, man. I, it feels great. I, I'm just, I'm just so, I'm all over the map right now because I'm excited. You know what I mean? Like I was, thought, I don't even know what I said on the radio, man, because I, I wanted to get to the locker room and hug some guys. But I mean, just to, to win. I mean, I think this, we're, we're just validating ourselves, man, and to everybody. I, I think just not to, not to the public, not to the fans. I mean, I think everybody knows what to expect, but even for ourselves. I mean, you know, there was a lot of newness, but that, that's over. That's behind us now, man. Uh, no, we're not talking about in the past anymore. This is this team, man, this group. And I think we've proven we've gone out against some of the best mid-major teams in the country, and that's what they are. And Drexel, Bakersfield, we got another one in Longwood coming in here, man. You know, Incarnate Word, an old rival, man. We've done, and we've gone against the Texas A&M and Utah on the road. And, and these guys have proven that they belong on the college basketball landscape. And we're going to have a chance, man. If we keep playing the way we're, going, we're playing right now, we're going to have a chance. So you just finished one of your two doubleheaders this season. Tell me how you felt about the doubleheader tonight. Hey, doubleheaders are awesome. I mean, Julie and I both love doubleheaders. There's no doubleheaders in the WAC, um, but it's an opportunity for everybody to come see both teams play. I mean, we have an awesome women's team. Everybody knows that. Uh, we're, we're excited about what we're bringing to the table. So we, we feel like we have two of the best, you know, 
mid-major teams in the country on the men and, and women's side. And so uh, to, to, for people to be able to come see us, that's uh, great. I, now, I wish we would set the time, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We know we're going to tip at 8, not 7.30, but, but I get it. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, I'm just excited. It gives our guys a chance to watch them and support them. It gives those girls a chance to support us. We see each other every day, man, and then we never get to see each other play. And so it was, it was fun tonight to, to get to do that, and we're looking forward to it on Sunday, too. Yeah, so you have power pain on Sunday, Longwood on Wednesday, two big games. Uh, kind of how does your team kind of get better every day, like you mentioned every week? Yeah. How does your team get better every day heading into this? Match? Well, I mean, there's no days off, even when we're on days off. I mean, we, we you know, we, we've got to, I know these guys are, even though we have to, tomorrow off, they're going to be watching film on their own. They just do that. I don't even know that they do that until they told me that they're, they're sitting there watching. They're, they're going to, they'll watch Howard Payne on, on, you know, Synergy. I mean, they'll, that's just who they are. We take nobody for granted. Uh, Howard Payne has given us fits in here before uh, when they've come and played. We play them every year. Uh, I love the coaches over there. They're, they're great people, man. And, but they, are, they do a really good job, and they're going to come in. They're going to prepare for us. They're not coming in here just to, to, you know, to lay down. They're going to try to compete. And so we've got to take care of ourselves that game. We've got to come back. We've got to get better. We've got to be better on Sunday. I told those guys this is a great win. Drexel was a great win. But we still have a long ways to go. Um, and so we've got to be better on Sunday than we were today. And we can find a way to do that. And then it moves on after that to Longwood. But two really good games. We need everybody that is here in town to come watch us play. Uh, I'm so thankful for the crowds that we've been getting, uh, especially right now when the students are gone. Um, we need them to keep coming, man. Keep coming. Our players talk about it. They know that we've had great crowds, man. It means something to them. The people that come to these games matter, and we need you to keep coming.